All right, I'm gonna be testing this. You choose to share yes, your outlander. time. What may I do for you? You and humble me. I want to make sure There's that I can, I can hear things. So yeah. All right, we are back. Um, Hail and welcome, friend. Hail. Turn down my volume again. Okay. Um. So. Uh, as many of you, well, it'll depend on when I post this, but, uh, as I'm playing this right now, Skyrim is supposed to come out tomorrow. Um, I did have it pre-ordered. First time I pre-ordered a game in a while. Um, and I spoke about it a little, little bit, uh, last time. Um, but I wanted to do another episode. I don't know if I'll be posting this before or after, um, I play some some Skyrim, but uh, we shall see. What I kind of want to do this episode is take a break from the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, just at least for a while, take a break from the, um, the Fighter's Guild quests and do a little bit more um, enchanting, I guess, if I can find my way out of here. Um, I did a little bit of research online to find out where a few items were that I wanted. Mostly some clothing items and uh, Grand Soul Gems. And then a spell that will allow me to uh, summon a Golden Saint so I can sort of exploit the Soul Trap spell. <clears throat> Uh, so first off, I know that I have to go to, um, uh, well, one of the places I have to go is Telmora, or Telbranora is one of them. Another one is Telmora, but I don't remember exactly where that is. It might be a, a place that's available through the, uh, travel system. I was going to uh, just go through the uh, Mage's Guild, but I'll just go ahead and take the ship. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been having a... don't know if I'm coming down with something or what, but I've been having trouble with this all day. So the reason that I plan on getting some exquisite clothing items is because the clothing can actually be worn underneath armor. As you can see, I'm wearing some pants and a belt. So I could actually have a... <coughs> Excuse me for a second. Okay, we're back. I just had to uh, cough, <laughs> and I didn't want to do it into my microphone. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I can have a bunch of enchanted clothing items on underneath my armor, not sacrifice any of the armor protection. So, well, I can get to Telmora from here, so we're gonna go there. Oh, okay, it was right up here. I, I thought I'd been there, but. Um, so, what I'm looking for. is inside the tower, I think. Well, let me go ahead and try the trader. Corporate Stalker. <coughs> oh, this actually ends up being a Fighter's Guild quest later. Yep, get owned. So I got rid of the Corpus Stalker, and uh, that'll be an easy complete on a Fighter's Guild quest later on. 
see if there's anything here I want. Actually, I might as well go up and uh, steal things from up here. Something about the pattern on that rug just looks really odd to me. I don't know. Now this is locked with level 75. Normally I wouldn't be able to get in there, but if you remember, I did in fact enchant an amulet with an opening spell last episode. So lock level 75, no longer a problem. I'm going to go ahead and not steal anything else. Alright. Um. See if I can find my way into the tower here. This is fine, this is what I was looking for. Exquisite pants, exquisite belt, exquisite shirt. Alright, not bad. So now, I can go and enchant those. Um, but what I need to do before that is go and get the uh, uh, the uh, summon golden saint spell, and that is what I believe is inside the tower. Obviously, I'm not going to figure this out on my own. <clears throat> I'm sure it's really obvious and I'm just missing it, but whatever. Do you have something to say, Cyrodiil? No. Oh well. What is this about? Hi there. When I was uh, doing my research, I probably should have paid a little bit more attention. So where are you from? Uh, the only way up is to levitate. I think. As I've said before, these Talvani structures are really, really difficult to navigate unless you have levitation. I think what I'm actually going to do 
go back to Sedanine and get my uh, my staff that has levitation on it, and then come back. So I'm gonna pause real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I've got my wizard staff. Now I can levitate for 120 seconds, I believe. That should give me enough time to get wherever I want to go. What is this about? See if there is anything interesting up here. Huh? Here we go. This is where I was supposed to be. Haven't I heard of you? Summon Storm at your neck. Summon Hunger. Summon Dremora. Missing something here? I thought it was supposed to be here. Maybe I was... there was something else here, like this. some other useful spells that I can put on enchantments. Reflect, spell absorption. Shield is usually a pretty good uh, skill. Jump might be interesting. Well, oh, my levitation wore off. I think what I'm going to do is 
and go make sure that I was looking in the right place, and I will be right back. Alright, I'm back again. Uh, turns out Telbrinora is where I need to go to get the spell. Once again. Okay. Uh, I should be able to get there pretty easily if I can find the ship. You will notice that my fatigue is increasing, even though I'm sprinting, because of that item that I enchanted last time. I think it was last time. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. Mm. I don't know where some of these are, so I'm gonna actually go there. Oh, <laughs> duh. What do you want? I don't know where this one is though, so. Okay. Good to know. What do you want? Okay. So I can get the Summon Golden Saint spell here. This looks dangerous. I think I remember there being something odd or whatever involved with this. So let's go check it out. Yeah, something involving disagreement between wizards or whatever. Not my business, for now. Hi there. Well, might as well levitate up there again. Pretty much always the best way to get around Telvani areas. Should be able to get down there. There we go. You may speak. What is this about? I think I might have. I might uh, have to go to the upper level instead of the. Whoa, what the? Well, I guess we have to check this out now, don't we? Can't say that I remember this. Oh yeah, that can still hit me even if I dodge it. Well, 
Well, maybe there's some good stuff to steal down here. Or maybe not, who knows. By the way, I love how I'm able to carry like 200,000 gold with me. Just like in my possession. Because apparently it's not that heavy. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Anything else down here? Enchanted Dwemer Helm and an Enchanted Curus. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, don't really want to risk it, so. doesn't have anything good anyway. <laughs> um, well, let's keep, keep going here. I need to make my way to the upper tower. Very slowly, because of this levitate spell. I don't know if I can help you, but I'll try. Where is that snake? Apparently there is a way to the upper tower from here. According to my map. pull my staff out again in case my enchantment runs out while I'm up here. Okay, this is it. sprint again. It's not this guy. Well, how much does this thing weigh? 16, I'll probably just start carrying it with me. Come on, it's not that hard. Alright. Potions. This is probably who I'm looking for. Or this person. Nice. This 
summon golden saint. Awesome. Wow, well, that cost about 1500 gold. But uh, definitely worth it. That's all I needed from him. Although it might help to have these. Probably wouldn't be able to steal them though. I guess I'll just head on out. Just have to wait for the levitation to wear off again. That's just weird. Oh, come on, am I stuck? Okay, so from here, what I'm going to want to do Let's see, I do have a soul trap spell, or scroll I've got three of them, so that should be good for now I need to trap soul of something somewhat powerful. Let me go back to Balmora, check on my, uh, Enchanter. Uh, Vivek. see how much uh, it would cost to put Summon Golden Saint on an item. That way I can have an unlimited supply of Golden Saint souls. Interesting. Go on. Um... Just say for 20 seconds should probably be long enough to kill it. Eh, 30. Wow, that's gonna cost 70,000 gold. Okay, let's go 20 seconds, 50,000 gold. Do I even have a. Yeah, I don't have a soul gem with a charge on it, so. Let me, um, let me save here real quick. Um, I'm going to stop recording for a second, and I'm going to see which gem will allow me to en enchant that, so give me just a sec. Alright, I'm back. So I think that if I buy the uh, Greater Soul Gem with the Dramora Soul in it, that should be good. I can sell these uh, items I just picked up, because they're not really useful to me. I wonder if she has soul trap spells. I should probably buy those. Yeah, she does. 
I'll go ahead and take those two. Okay, so I'm gonna go to enchanting. Uh, I'm gonna throw in one of my rings, and we're gonna go summon Golden Saint for 20 seconds. 25 seconds. Let's try 20, and I can always reload if that's not enough. Ring of the <laughs> Golden Saint. So original. I'm actually only down to a 160,000 gold right now, which seems like a lot, because it is, but... Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's try this. See if that's enough time to kill it. Alright, soul trap. And... Oh yeah, totally. Excellent. So now I have a Grand Soul Gym with a Golden Saint soul inside. Perfect. Now, I could do that again, but I'm going to have to wait for the ring to recharge. Shouldn't take too long. Alright. And Soul Trap. Perfect. So now I have two Grand Soul Gems with Golden Saint Souls inside. And let's see what else I can enchant here. Let's go with the uh, the pants. So they have an enchantment of up to 60. So let's see what I can put on these. I can actually put restore health one point, restore fatigue one point, constant effect on these. about resist magic. I can do resist magic six points. That's not that good, really. Well, I think I'll do that. Uh, restore health and restore fatigue one point. And let's see. I might actually be able to go up to two points. So restore fatigue one to three points, restore health one to two points. Very nice. We'll just call them uh, pants of uh, you know I really got nothing, so we're just gonna call them the pants of derpity do. see them over my greaves, but I don't care. Now, I've got another soul here, so... Let's go with the shirt. It's got an enchantment of 60 as well. And I think I'll just put the... Uh, let's see what the belt... That, how much enchantment the belt has. Only 40? Well, I could put water breathing on it. That could be interesting. I could do restore health, restore fatigue again. Hmm. I guess I'll do that. 
Why don't we go for the complete set here? So this will be the belt of derpity do. So now I do have that amulet that does health and fatigue restoration, but I'll probably find a better amulet somewhere down the road. That's why I wanted to find these uh, clothes. So right now I'm looking at restore health and restore fatigue pretty uh, pretty quickly. You see I'm jumping now, and it comes back pretty fast. That's not you bad. Want something from me? So if I plan to do any more of this enchanting, I'm going to need some more Grand Soul Gems. Now, I do remember where to find one of them. And that is right here. There's a shipwreck that has one, I believe. There's also a dungeon that I really want to raid. But I'm trying to remember exactly where it is, and I... I think it's in this area? So maybe I'll hit that up as well. Is there um, something I can do for you? That looks kind of silly, but I don't care. Oh yeah, this is going to be really nice. I figure I can just put all my health and fatigue, re fatigue, fatigue restoration on these clothing items and then uh, leave the other enchantments for my other items. So first off, I'm going to go back to Sedanine and uh, stash some of my things here. Alright, I should take damage from this fall. Let's see how fast it restores. Wow, look at that. That is pretty handy. So this is kind of showing off what I was talking about a while back, how you basically can just become unstoppable in this game. Not that I am right now. But uh, somewhere down the road, having this effect on is going to be very nice. And I actually have less than <clears throat> 100,000 gold right now. I don't need my levitation potion if I'm going to carry my wizard staff with me. Fortunately, I don't have the wizard robe and hat to go with it. Hardy har har, right? Um, so I don't really need any of these unhinging scrolls anymore, actually. I'll just put this exquisite shirt... In, uh, it weighs two, I'll carry it with me. Alright, I guess we're ready to move out. Alright, so now I'm going to go to... Margon. Once you find the uh, mud crab merchant, it becomes a lot easier to make money. Oh, that's the other thing I needed was a recall spell. I'll have to find one of those eventually. Uh, in the meantime, probably won't be doing that this episode. So now I'm going to want to go back up this way. While I'm there, I might want to hit up that one Dwarven Ruin again, and see if I can kill that the Vampire with the full set of Ebony Armor. I've gained uh, some levels since then, and I have some better uh, abilities now, so... I 
think I will try that and see what happens. Although, to be fair, I have almost a full set of ebony armor right now. Not including the, uh, the Daedric Greaves. The main things I'm missing, I guess, are the pauldrons. Oh, and the gloves. I have one ebony bracer. I actually kept forgetting that it was even different because of the, the way that the shield covers up the other bracer. Now this should look familiar. Battle music's playing, but I don't see anything. I guess I'll just run away and hope nothing follows me. And apparently that worked. Alright, so we're gonna go through here. Yeah, even when I'm sprinting, the uh, fatigue seems to restore pretty quickly. person right off the bat. And another dead person. See that? Our health is already restored. That's awesome. Too easy. She she report. As instructed, a party of five entered the Belfa Tower. I think they might be House Redaron guys. I don't know. Basically, they said they entered here and killed the people inside because uh, that's what they were ordered to do. Enchanted throwing stars. in need of, uh, of, uh, money right now, if I plan on doing more enchanting, but I can worry about that later. Lock level five. Oh, it's got one of the, uh, modded weapons in it. That's kind of cool. <laughs> the, uh, fire spell actually killed him. Now, I know those ruins were here somewhere along this side.
Now I could levitate over this. I don't remember, is it this one or the other one? I think I'm just going to levitate over. Instead of having to walk all the way around. Oh man, that is slow. You should still be faster than walking all the way around though. Hopefully. The only annoying thing is I'm going to have to wait for the spell to wear off, but that shouldn't take that long once I actually get down here. I'm very slowly making my way down. side of this tower? Unless it's underneath and I was just missing it. Well, it's got to be down there. Obviously, the other one. Now, in order for me to uh, <clears throat> make more money, probably the best way would be to go raid some more bandit caves. Because once you get to a higher level, you can make uh, obscene amounts of money from the loot you find in those, as we saw last episode or the one before where I made like uh, almost 200,000 gold just from one cave. Yep, this is the one. save before I go in, just in case. I feel pretty confident. this. It's going to most definitely put me over weight. So what I'm going to have to do is drop the stuff that uh, I don't need. Oh, I'm still over encumbered. Oh, well I don't this anymore, or this, or this. Oh, 
rest of the stuff I'll leave there, I suppose. There go my repair hammers, unfortunately. Alright, let's see what else was down here, because I didn't get to go all the way in last time. Whoa, full set of glass armor. If I was a light armor character, I'd be pretty excited. Again, I'm going to drop this on the ground so that I can come back and get it later. Hello, cattle. Anything in here? Blood of the Quora Masters? Probably for some uh, vampire quest. There are actually quests that are uh, unique to vampires. Let's see how much of this I can carry. Nope. Glass stuff is incredibly light. The uh, Curious weighs 18 as opposed to the Ebony, which weighs 60. Um. So what I probably want to do at this point is pause recording again. I know I've been doing that a lot this episode, but I'm going to go trek back to the Mud Crab Merchant a few times probably and sell off this stuff. So I will be right back and I will, yeah, I will be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, it's right outside the ruins here. Those transactions brought me up to about 250k again. So we should be good. I'm gonna go grab that Grand Soul Gem. Which I think is this way. Yeah, I think it's in there. in the captain's cabin. I'll just go ahead and check down here first. Huh. Looks like I can rest and meditate. And a level up. Strength, obviously. Personality's got a multiplier, and we'll go I think I'll go Endurance. So now my Endurance is at 50, Strength is at 80. Uh, looking pretty good. Nothing interesting down here. locked, fortunately. Mm -hmm. 
So I might as well trap another Golden Saint. I think that dungeon that I want is around here, so I'm going to go ahead and look over there. And if I can't find it after a little bit of looking, I'll probably head back and do put an enchantment on the shirt. So my carrying capacity is up to 400 now, which is not bad at all. Apparently my intelligence and willpower are damaged, though. I don't think I have a disease. I think there's from something. I don't know. I'll have to go get it uh, restored. Guess I don't have any. Yeah. Well, it's no big deal. Oh, there's a, uh... See, I knew there was a bandit cave around here. Oh. Death from above is always awesome. E-bar dot. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm pretty sure it's not. In fact... Looks like necromancers. Always fun times. I'm not interested in that, thank you. Burden, eh. Gotcha. He's finally getting a little bit better. Crossbow. Those were good times when I had my crossbow. I did get my, uh, my revenge on that vampire. This chest is also trapped, so... Restore luck, not quite what I'm looking for. I need to restore intelligence or restore willpower. much in here in the way of loot. I'm assuming that key I just found will unlock this. Yep. These look like Daedric ruins. Interesting. Cedra Morris. Love how 
they keep hitting me with reflect spell. Ooh. Blood thief dagger. Okay. Drew club only worth uh, 200. Locked and trapped. Well, I know how to deal with this. Amulet of opening. Boom. And there's a golden saint, darn. Oh well. Ooh, this does mean something very interesting though. Because this golden saint doesn't disappear afterwards, I can take what she has. Including an ebony tower shield. Very nice. Lock level 50, I don't think I can pick that, so... Ancient Silver Dagger. Hmm. Lock level 60, I know I can't pick. You see, this amulet is amazing. Also a Daedric staff here, holy crap. And some spells. And a Vivic. Sermons of Vivic and some Daedric armor. Well now. I'm gonna be so overweight after this. I got a Daedric shield now, which is better than the Ebony Tower shield. And a Daedric Helm. And I am so over encumbered, it's not even funny. And more stuff. I'm just gonna take all of it. Now I can't I can't even move. Oh yeah, and I haven't even unlocked this one yet. Jewels. Alright, uh... I suppose this is gonna call for another, uh... pause recording... moment. So I will be back in a few. All right, we're back. Um, did some selling and that sort of thing. And uh, what I did actually brought me up to almost 400k, which is not bad. I think I got everything in here. So we're going to go ahead and head on out of here. Now the only problem that I have right now is that my weight is at 376 out of uh, 400. Just carrying, basically just carrying my armor and my standard equipment. So what I might want to do... Let's get rid of something for now. sure what yet. I do need a shield, but this thing weighs 45. Uh, without my wizard staff, I'm at like 360, so at least I have like about 40 weight that I can carry. Is that another... Uh, where I came down. It looks like there was like another passage down here. Go 
hopefully I don't go in here and then drown. That would be kind of a bummer. spell. Probably a good alternative to that could be um, making a constant effect levitation amulet that I can just put on whenever I need to float around. That way it, the effect will wear off exactly when I need it to. I won't have to carry potions and that sort of thing. I do have a spare amulet on me so I think I'll probably do that. I was going to enchant this shirt but eh, that can wait. I think something was chasing me on my way back here, so I don't know exactly what's going on. I guess I'm going to go look th this way, just to see if I come across that dungeon that I think is over here. And you know, if I'm wandering around for a while and don't find it, then... Eh. I'll probably just uh, head back to town. I'm not sure where we are in this video as far as time. Oh my gosh. This is so annoying. Having to wait for this to wear off. I do remember that it's supposed to be an ancestral tomb, but it, it might actually be up here. It's like south southwest of this place. So it could be on here or on here. At least I can do this now. Oh, it just wore off. Alright. run this way for a while. They're looking pretty intimidating now. It's got to count for, uh, count for something. I did mention before, Skyrim comes out tomorrow. I've got it pre-ordered. Well, you know we have to go in there. Um, I'm not going to be picking it up at midnight tonight. <laughs> Probably be getting it midday, afternoon, tomorrow. And I'll try to have something up. Oh, this is the Urshalaku burial site, which is for the main quest. We'll worry about that later on. Uh, so as I was saying, you know, I'll get it probably around midday tomorrow, and then um, I'll try to have something up tomorrow. 
even just a video of character creation or something. I don't know how it's going to run on my PC. I think it should be fine because um, Oblivion can run at max on my PC at a pretty decent frame rate. Um, but I've heard the graphics aren't like super, super crazy. Like they didn't really design them for um, next generation hardware like they did with Oblivion where they kind of uh, designed the graphics to be a little bit ahead of most of the technology, the current technology. This could be it right here. Um, so I, I'm pretty confident I should be able to run it well. Uh, I don't remember what the name of it is, but we'll go in here. Yeah, skeletons don't really scare me anymore. Not that they ever really scared me that much, but... Yeah. Pretty much the only enemy that uh, is able to consistently scare me are the greater bone walkers. Oops, that was trapped. But my health restore is actually going so fast that it's basically counteracting the trap, so... Not bad. Alright, let's see. Pull this one off. Nice. running around with this, uh, this vile stench coming out of my, uh, my nether regions. Lovely. This is probably going to be the, uh, the highlight of the video. Headshot. Insert the uh, Duke Nukem clip there at your leisure. Not quite sure if what I said just now made sense, but whatever. Nothing over here? Okay. I'm thinking it's probably on this island. Hopefully I don't get gangbanged by fishes when I jump in here. Hmm. 
Sargon, wasn't that that? I think I had to go there for a quest, didn't I? Well, I got some danger currents here. May as well. Unless I've already been here. Oh, I think I have. I wonder if this is the one that had that locked chest, though. I remember there was one ruin we uh, we went in. There was a locked chest that I wasn't able to open. Maybe I'll poke my head in here real quick and find out. this one. We I don't remember coming in here. Ooh, this is a Daedric quest. It says I can talk to the shrine, so... Alright, this should be interesting. First of all, let me steal from him. Might. Uh, just take it for now. Put those both back there for now. Save. <clears throat> Let's see what he has to say. You have summoned me. <laughs> you are all the same. The Helm of Orion Bearclaw, the Dark Elven Hero. His deeds are numerous, but he was a false hero. All were performed by Karak Brokar, his orcish friend. It is time that this legend was put to rest. Find the last of his bloodline, kill him, and I will grant you the Helm. Look for him in the city where the Man-God lives. Okay. So basically, what I'm supposed to do is um, kill this guy who's, uh, I guess he said he's perpetuating a false legend of a fake hero, and he lives in, he says, the city where the god man, or man god, or something, lives, which I know is Vivek. So I guess what I have to do is go to Vivek and kind of uh, ask around. Um, so for now, let me pause record, uh, recording again and I'm going to go over to Vivek and I will be back momentarily. Alright, I'm back and uh, we're at the Vivek Foreign Quarter, which is the top. We actually haven't been to Vivek yet. So, yeah, should be interesting. Little uh, interesting note, when I used to play this on my old computer, which is actually my family's computer, Vivek would lag so horribly because I was using a super old computer with an integrated graphics card and it was just awful. It would take like five minutes to load in between every section and I would get like 10 FPS and I would play it anyway because I love this game. I'd usually just like walk away while I waited for it to load. And it was pretty bad. So let me start asking around. Oh, the other thing I did was I got rid of the wizard staff and the helm for now to free up a little bit of weight. Um, actually, the reward for this quest is a very, very good helm that I'll probably end up equipping. So, so let's see if there's anybody... Yeah... Traveled, okay. Said he traveled with his servants to Gnarmok, which is up here. Yeah. 
So that was easy. I was afraid that was going to be a lot tougher to uh, find any info. Well, it looks like we're not going to be exploring Vivek just yet. Essentially what the city is is just a big... Uh, am I stuck? Nope, okay. It's just a bunch of these uh, cantons that are called covering this entire area. Pretty neat. I think there's another danger quest up here somewhere, so maybe we'll do that next episode. Uh, for now I need to go to Gnarmok. Sword script again. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Okay, I went a little bit too far. Well, I suppose I can just walk. I don't remember what this guy's doing. I think somebody stole his pants or something. Yeah. We can come back to that later. Basically, you have to convince somebody to give that dude back his pants. Which is somewhat amusing, I suppose. To be honest, I kind of like the way it looks without the helm, anyway. But once we get this new helm, probably going to be equipping it <clears throat> right away. Got another fort here. to go in those at this point. I said last time, not last time, but a while back, when I found one that um, they contain some pretty high level enemies. I honestly, I think I can pretty much take on whatever's in there at this point, but what I don't want to do is uh, get too sidetracked again. Because I think we're nearing the end of our uh, allotted time slot. Which of course is only dictated by uh, my current plans, but whatever. Oh, you know we have to go in there with... Uh, Alright. Tombs usually don't have anything too heavy or too good, so I probably won't end up taking too much stuff. We'll see. Dragon ring. Always a good. 
get fun. Okay, good. I thought it was going to be a bone walker. damage that I have done to me by these guys is actually them reflecting my magic back at me. Dwemer Mace, not something I need. This place seems to be pretty expansive for a tomb. Celtic Spear. Pretty cool looking. It's worth it almost a thousand. Now we do in fact have one more door in here to go through. What the oh. damage my armor, I wonder. Nah, it doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. So there's usually nothing good in those. Another fort? <laughs> Guess he changed his mind that he did want to attack me. What's this one called? Is there somebody on the roof? Undesreth? watching uh, an earlier video that I posted where I was talking about the screen tearing while it was loading. <laughs> that 
didn't actually show up in the recording. It only showed up on my screen while it was happening. So if, uh, the reason I'm going whoa when it starts loading is because I'm actually seeing some screen tearing during that. Not just because I think it's so amazing that uh, <laughs> the game is loading. Oh, why is there a dead guar over here? Not cool. I love how his tongue comes out like that when he... You did this. Oh. Look at that guy. How could you wish ill upon him? <sighs> yeah, don't have anything to offer you. Sorry. It's good to make an offering, but... Decided that I ultimately would rather hold on to my stuff. Alright, it should be. Tommy isn't attacking me. Oh gosh. Those things, uh, when you're at a fairly low level, are really, really dangerous. Didn't do anything to me, but, uh,. One, two, huh? Oh, wait, I remember this. The breeding netches. It was like for a quest or something. Oh well. <clears throat> Hopefully that didn't mess up a quest later on. south of town, making the area safe once again for fishermen. Does that mean he's in the south side of town, or he is south of the town? Oh, that's him over there. Go ahead and save here just in case. Who knows what'll happen. Oh, there's a bandit cave here. Oh. This is our guy. So basically, um, he says, yes, um, I'm not really the ancestor of this hero. Uh, Walter just let me go, and I can choose to let him go, or to kill him, for uh, the Deidre Malakoth. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, I do really want this helm, so I'm going to have to kill him. Enough though. Go ahead and take his magic items. Glass sword. This drew armor. Of course, I'm overweight now. back and get a 
bit after I check out this uh, dungeon. I'm not giving up that easily. <laughs> These guys are a piece of cake. These bandit caves are pretty much the best place to find the modded weapons. Black Legion Blade. I have a feeling I'm going to be even more rich once I leave here. Amulet of Locking. It's the strangest uh, thing. There is actually a lock spell. That doesn't look anything like that mini picture of them. And I'm overweight. I'm gonna drop some of this stuff for now, I guess. Master Sword. <laughs> what? Wow, it really is the, uh, the Master Sword from Zelda. Sorry. Silver dart. 
That's gonna put me overweight. Dwarven Claymore. <clears throat> Tomahawks again. Finding a lot of these lock spitter, lock splitter, um, scrolls. Dwarven Centurion, so. Wow, that's pretty cool looking. Blue glass arrows, blue dart of the Hashirin. pick. Okay, now I'm overweight, so I will put these books in there for now. Oh, wait, I want that one. Kopesh, Golden Bolt, Fireion, Grand Soldier. Awesome, that's what I wanted. More darts of the never uh, Nerevarian. It's like darts that are worth uh, six thousand each. Fusion spear. Uh, I'm stuck here. Oh. Can usually get unstuck. If not, there is a no clip console command, but. Eh. Hook sword. Ancient Dwarven Mace, Yellow Ebony Throwing Stars. Yeah, I'm gonna be a lot richer when I leave this place. War Fan. Well, I suppose it is that time once again where I pause recording and visit the Mudcrab Merchant, so I will be back uh, momentarily. Alright, I'm back. Uh, sold all that stuff, made my way back to the shrine here. I now have almost 700,000 gold. Uh, so I'm going to talk to him and finish the quest. You have killed the false hero and shared the more to follow. You have helped to bring back honor to the Orcish people, and for that, I am glad. Here, take the helm of Orion Bear Claw. Wear it proudly, and let it serve as a reminder of what really happened. So he's giving me the helm of Orin Bear Claw, which does fortify agility and endurance 40 points, constant effect. Which is kind of ridiculous. So now my. Uh, abilities are raised pretty dang high. Let's see if I can grab these. Yeah, barely. Is there anything I can get rid of here, I wonder? Uh, well, I'll just leave one of these behind for now. Alright, so that's going to... Uh, conclude this episode. I uh, will see you guys next time. Uh, my next video after this one will probably be something of Skyrim, so uh, look forward to it, and I will see you guys later. Thanks.